Hey everyone, it's Sorelldo here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Glacial Warlord class. I'm sorry it didn't come out as soon as the class came out. I really would have liked to, but I didn't have the money. And speaking of the money, the only way to get this class is uh, to pay money. Uh, specifically, you've actually got to buy at least a 2,000 Adventure Coin package, but any 2,000 Adventure Coin package will get you there. I can't quite remember which membership packages get you there, but I know most of them will. Just check it out. This class is available from the 1st of January. Now, um, I mean, not from till, till, and then from then it goes rare. Uh, to actually get the class once you have it, you just go to the Book of Lore, Badges, Other Badges, and just scroll till you find Glacial Warlord. Uh, from the shop, you get the really cool Glacial Warlord armor, the, the class itself, and then the set, which you can actually see me wearing, but, yeah. Uh, the set is actually currently available in Battleon, but the class is only available in the store, and there are some alternate armors around, which I'll show you later. So, yeah, that's how you get the class. For enhancements, I would recommend Full Fighter for this class. Uh, it, seems to be an easy choice, uh, just to show you why. Uh, the passive, the rank 4 passive, physical damage reduced by 30%. So this makes it quite a tanky class, and you know it's only taking 70% damage. So fighter will give you a lot more HP, so that's quite a lot of survivability there. Uh, also, strength increased by 30%. Fighter's also going to give you a lot of strength, and so your health and strength will really be emphasized with these passives and the fighter enhancements. Uh, the other thing, and the reason why I'd avoid luck enhancements, is because it decreases your luck by 30%. So your crits are going to get worse because of this passive. Your um, luck is going to be penalized, so I would not recommend doing luck. I mean, technically it will still work and your crits will get bigger, but it's just basically 30% of your luck stat points are useless, so I'd recommend strength and endurance. Maybe one luck if you want to get the crits up a bit, but personally I'm going to say full full strength. Uh, all the moves are physical, so that's um, really a good reason. For ore enhancements, if you are going to try the lucky thing, go spiral car, but I think health vamp or maybe mana vamp, depending on how well your mana management is, but um, health vamp will really emphasize how tanky this class can get. Uh, there is a rank 10 passive, but I'll talk about that under the move section. So I'm going to start off with talking about the auto attack. Now this is, it's called Powerful Blows. It's a 3.25 second auto attack. So that's once every 3.25 seconds. Instead of once every, um, what is it? Instead of once every <laughs> 2 or 1.5 depending on your class. Now what this means is that its auto attack is a lot more powerful uh, and you see that now that's not your normal auto attack I'll explain that in a second but there you go crits of 800 I'm just getting lucky um, 457 now I believe that this is actually slightly buffed uh, in terms of um, how much damage it does it should only be doing 160 something percent damage but apparently according to the wiki it does 175 percent damage so that's pretty cool now you're wondering why I've been hitting such massive attacks with auto attack that's the rank 10 passive at work and uh, I thought Dragon Shinobi had a pretty cool rank 10 passive because it activated a lot of the time uh, Glacial Warlord takes the cake. It's called Skull Crusher, and uh, it's just got a chance to do a massive hit. And you saw that an auto attack hit that does 1,600 or crits for several k. Um, most of the moves in this class actually revolve around the auto attack, so um, it's a slow auto attack. But when it hits, it's powerful, and it can be quite nice. So we'll just get on with the moves. The first move is called Pummel, and it's 12 MP, 3 second cooldown, and it gives you Frozen Heart stack, and this stacks 5 times. Notice how it stacks to you, and not your enemy, that's useful. Uh, each in cart increases your crit, haste, and damage. So haste is a big thing for this class. 
So, I mean, as you can see, some of the moves do increase your crit chance and all that, but I do feel that you've got to be careful because a lot of your advantages are actually coming from your strength and endurance. Um, yeah. Now, the other moves are basically work off these stacks. You've got Chilling Blow, which is a stun for four seconds, and it resets your stacks, absorbs them, uh, and as I said, four seconds stun, but it also reduces your opponent's haste for about 15 seconds, and that's quite a long time. Uh, you've got your third move, I mean, fourth move, which also uses your stacks. It costs 22 MP. Uh, that one here costs 38, so it's actually quite a um, MP heavy move. Your um, third move here, Frostbite, 22 MP and 19 second cooldown. It deals light damage and makes your opponent vulnerable to physical damage for 20 seconds. And the more stacks you have, the more vulnerable they are. Now, it might actually be hard getting 5 stacks now that there ain't 10 passives in place. But I want you to see what this move does to your auto attack once I heal up. Yeah. So we'll try to get four stacks of Frozen Heart before it dies. It's two, I mean five. Um, three. Four. I think that's five now. We'll go Frostbite. We're not really going to see this, but there you go, 700. So that's what it was critting before. Uh, so it's quite a significant boost. Now imagine getting Skull Crusher on that. Hopefully I can do that before the end of the video. The um, final move for 20 MP is a small heal. Um, this is actually quite interesting on in the way it works. It heals everyone for a little bit, which isn't too bad. But if you have even one stack of Frozen Heart, uh, it heals you only, but then gives you a heal over time for a while. Now this does not consume your stacks, and that's something important to bear in mind. So you can just basically have your heal going and your uh, extra damage coming in. So it's a really nice combo. Now, um. You can't really rely on Skull Crusher in a like confined sort of space, a small amount of time. Uh, although it does seem to happen very frequently. Uh, PvP it might be useful, but I feel that this class is really going to be worth its weight in gold. Or ice, or whatever you want to call it, during boss battles. Now I'll try to show you how this will work in a boss battle. So let's see how this thing goes against the bosses. We'll uh, attack it and start stacking some Frozen Heart. Yeah. What I'm hoping is that we see how Skull Crusher can be empowered with our awesome <laughs> third move, Frostbite. It's funny actually, another class has a move called Frostbite, but it's not nearly as good. So I'd say we have enough stacks of Frozen Heart. As you can see, it's Chewing through this quite easily, and there we go. See, that's a 1.2k crick from an auto attack. Let's stack this up again and hope that Skull Crush actually activates soon. There we go. So, when you've got Frozen Heart, you can actually get a 4.6k crit from an auto attack. Uh, and if you need the heal, which at this point we actually haven't yet, you just pop on the heal and keep your stacks going, and it gives you the heal over time effect as well. So, this is a very interesting class, and I can say I really like it. I've got it to rank 10 just as you guys wanted me to. Uh, I think a lot could have a bit of an impact on this class, but I'm still going to recommend Fighter on the basis that you're wasting a lot of stat points if you go for luck. Feel free to try it out. Uh, but just remember, I'm a big fan of what I can depend on, not what I hope to get from crits. That said, remember, if you are going luck, Spiral Carve and Luck Enhancements, that'll be the best combo for this. 
Hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Uh, I'll be doing more class guides soon. Uh, and hopefully I'll be doing a first upholder character video for Oversoft. Until then, bye.